During her 15 plus years at Google, Jen has led software development for a wide variety of products and teams, including Google Search, AdWords, Google News, and Google Shopping. She's a mother of three young children, and enjoys spending time with her family, traveling, skiing, and cooking. Jen is on the Amita Bork Institute for Women in Technology, um, and helps to, which helps to motivate and inspire women to develop careers in technology. And she holds a, ma a bachelor's degree in symbolic systems and a master's degree in computer science from Stanford. She's been a wonderful boss. I really enjoy working uh, for her. And um, I think it's really going to be a treat for you to hear her vision uh, for Google Maps. Thanks.
uh, we've got uh, Shimi Ong. So Shimi is a world traveler from Singapore. Um, no, from Malaysia. From Malaysia. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. From Malaysia. Oh, my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> contributor within just three months of joining the World Supply Program. Wow. Uh, we've got Luis Duran. Luis? Luis hails from the Dominican Republic, and he's an accessibility advocate, helping put information on the map so that people with disabilities can navigate and explore the world just as well as the able-bodied among us. Gianluca Bertoncelli. Gianluca, did we meet? Gianluca uh, is a self starter from Italy, um, and he helped form the very first local guides community in Modena. So thank you for that. <laughs> two, two more that I'll highlight uh, Felix Uroya Goli. Felix, do you view around somewhere? <laughs> so Felix is a business savvy moderator from Nigeria. Uh, who helps small and uh, small and medium-sized businesses and enterprises and nonprofits boost their online presence and help them succeed and thrive in his local community. So thank you. For that. Rosa, uh, who Rosa, hello, Rosa. So Rosa uh, is a Spanish-speaking San Francisco resident, uh, a little bit closer to home, uh, and she provides listings in Spanish, helping to make our content accessible to people, uh, no matter what language they speak. Uh, that is just a, uh, that's just a small sampling. Every single one of you here in this room today have stories that are really inspiring uh, and have really been fun for us to hear and learn about. And I hope that over the course of the next two days, you get a chance really to meet every one of the, uh, of the people in this community and share your stories with each other. Um, it's really striking to me as I read through all the profiles and look at the different ways in which you all are contributing to the work that we do uh, and to giving back this information uh, to, to the world. Um, how uniform the sense of clear passion, dedication, and shared uh, community is among this group. But it's also really striking the breadth of ways in which you guys are all contributing. You guys are contributors, of course. You're moderators. You're photographers. You are opinion makers and thought leaders. You are, in some cases, detectives and fact finders. <laughs> you, are, um, you are local business advocates, and you are also uh, really, in many cases, community builders and community advocates. Uh, and it's really putting all of these different skills together in this community that is the community of local guides that really is where the true power comes from. The other thing that's really striking is that this program, this local guides program, uh, in its current form, is less than a year old. And this is really just <coughs> the beginning. And so as much fun as it's been to see the program evolve thus far, I'm even more excited to see what we can create together uh, as this moves forward. One of the reasons that I particularly love working on this space of geopolitics is that it gives us the opportunity every day to really help people in the moments that matter in their life. Whether it's small things like trying to decide what museum to take your parents to when they're visiting you uh, in town, or really important moments in life, like helping you get to uh, an emergency clinic uh, in a moment when you really, when you or your family really, really need it. Um, it's a huge responsibility. Uh, it's one that my team and I take very seriously. Uh, but it's also incredibly fun and incredibly inspiring to have the opportunity to bring more and more information to people in these moments. And the thing that strikes us all the time is we see every day the questions that our users are bringing us about the real world getting harder and harder, getting more and more detailed. And it turns out that humans have an almost insatiable appetite to know more about the world around them. And as we at, at Google get better and better at helping people answer those questions, they bring more of them to us. And this shift has happened even more dramatically in today's world where over a billion people are carrying around smartphones 
in their pocket that they can ask questions to in real time as they're traveling about the world, trying to make decisions, trying to get to new places, trying to get things done. And one of the things that we see is that for as many questions about the world as we're able to answer today, there's just as many more questions still out there that we don't know the answers to. Here's a, uh, a, a, great, a great proof point. Take a look at the Local Guides Connect discussion forum. We see questions there cropping up all the time that Google today still can't answer. Things like, hey, I'm going to Crete next week, and I need to know the best way to get from uh, Agia Palladia to Crete. Should I go by boat? Should I go by land? And by the way, what boat companies are the best ones to take? This is not the sort of question that Google uh, does, I will say, a brilliant job at today. But we'd like to be. Or things like, what are the cafes in Mumbai that I can go to that have both a good view and free Wi-Fi? Or even, what's a tourist-friendly nightclub in Vienna that plays Senegalese music? <laughs> now, I didn't know <laughs> until I saw it in the Google of Guys Connect forum that Senegalese music in Vienna was a thing. But apparently it is. <laughs> uh, and it's only by tapping into the knowledge of the locals, locals like you who care deeply about their communities and their neighborhoods and understand what's happening, what's, inter uh, what's, in uh, what's interesting and relevant to the people who are there right now, that we're able to bring those sorts of knowledge and insights to uh, our users uh, who, as I said, are asking us more and more questions about the world around them. Today, our local guides program has over five million users contributing to it. And again, this is after less than a year uh, in its current form. You all hail from 235 countries and 180,000 different localities. So the scale and size of this program is really, really, uh, is really, really fun to see and is really giving us uh, a lot of hope and inspiration that we are going to be able, through local guides, to literally cover every corner of the world. You, as the Local Guides community, have been some of our biggest advocates, our biggest supporters. Um, you are literally our most trusted creators, uh, and you're having an incredibly outsized impact on our products. Um, the uh, one small fact that I wanted to share with you guys today, and I'm happy to be able to share, is that as of today, the Local Guide community is now contributing almost half of the user-generated content coming in from apps on a daily basis. That's huge. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. You guys are quite literally our eyes and ears on the ground, helping us understand whether it's uh, the opening hours for a gym uh, or a uh, new shop that just opened in South Jakarta or a review that helps someone decide where to go uh, with their friends or their family uh, for lunch the next day. These and a million more everyday scenarios that are playing out rely on the sorts of information and insights that you guys are bringing, not really to us, but to our users uh, and, uh, and to the world. It makes a huge difference. Let me tell you one story uh, of uh, a fellow local guide. Uh, this is a story of someone named Billy uh, who comes from Spain. So this is one of my favorite local guide stories. Uh, so Billy heard that his local government was planning to tear down and build over a park in his community. And the reason given by the government was that this park was rarely used. Now Billy, who lived in this community, knew that this was not true. So he went to Google Maps and he submitted the first ever review of this park. And then he went out to his friends and other folks in the community and encouraged them to do the same. Fast forward a few weeks and suddenly there's dozens of reviews, dozens of photos proving that this park had life, that it was populated, that people in the community cared about it. And Billy went and showed this to the government, and they changed their plans. The park has stayed in existence, um, and if that's not a true testament to the power of community to really influence how the local world and your local neighborhood can evolve, I don't know what is. Now, not every neighborhood or every community has a park that's in imminent danger of being torn down. <laughs> but every community has its own stories, its own things that matter. And I think that's one of the really uh, special things and one of the things that really speaks to the true potential and impact of this local guides community is, that, is the ability to use information <coughs> to help people make decisions that really matter. 
you know, it wasn't that long ago that the typical user coming to Google to look up information about a place would see an experience that looks something like this. No reviews. Maybe if we were lucky, a street view car might have driven by years ago, <laughs> caught a distant <laughs> view of the place, with a truck parked in front of it. Not exactly helpful in terms of helping you make a quick, on-the-fly decision about whether this is a place that you personally want to go and spend your time. Fast forward to today, many, many more places on Google, thanks to the work of the localized community and our blog news community, now look much more like this. Rich reviews, lots of photos, rich information about the types of experience you're likely to have at this place that you can tell at a glance, on the fly, when you're on the go. And again, it's really thanks to the contributions of local experts like yourselves that were able to, uh, to, to do this sort of dramatic shift in the overall experience for our users yeah, over just a short period of time. Our ultimate aspiration is to build the richest, deepest, most detailed understanding of the real world that's ever existed, and to share that back to our users. We want to understand every place on Earth in all of its depth and color and vitality. You are the community that's helping us build that understanding. This is really, as I said earlier, just the beginning. We're on a journey here together, a journey to bring knowledge and understanding of the entire world and to give that knowledge and understanding back to the world so people can search for it, so people can navigate and explore and be confident as they're out and about traversing the world. You all know, because you've got such pride in your own local communities, that the real world is a magical place. But it's all that much more magical when you can traverse it with confidence, when you can have information in your pocket on demand. And it's really, really uh, an honor for us to be working with all of you to help bring that information back to the world. We've already heard a lot of feedback from this group uh, in this, the last three years that, uh, that, that this community has been forming uh, about things that you would love to see more of uh, from the local guides program. And I hope we get a chance over the next few days to hear a lot more of that from you. As an example, we've heard that you guys want more ways to connect with each other, to be able to follow each other, communicate in deeper and better ways. We've heard that you want more help forming your own local communities and bringing other people yeah. into the fold to help uh, uh, bring even more uh, energy uh, into, uh, in, into this community. Uh, we've heard that you want more and better ways to contribute new types of information about the world to make it easier to do that. Um, the list goes on and on. So please keep your voices coming. We listen to all of that feedback and we take it very seriously uh, as we're thinking about how to evolve both this community uh, and, uh, and our water products. Um, and in particular, I also really hope that as you uh, come back from these two days spent here with the Local Guides community, you also spend time talking to each other and thinking about what more can you all do to foster community, to encourage other people to contribute, um, and to help continue being the incredible role models um, that you all already are. On behalf of everyone, uh, here in GEO, at Google, a very sincere thank you. Uh, it's, a real, uh, it's a real pleasure uh, to get a chance to, to be here and spend time with all of you. I know that, that many folks on my team have been uh, itching to get a chance to start to get into conversation with all of you uh, and learn, uh, learn what your experiences have been like so far. Uh, and I hope that the next two days is really just uh, not only, hopefully, uh, an educational time, but also one uh, that's, uh, that, that manages to be fun and inspiring too. So thank you, uh, and with that, we'll uh, take a few questions.